AM Extra breaking news alert. That breaking news at 730 right now on AM Extra. More evacuees headed back home after being forced out by these historic wildfires. Thousands of homes have been destroyed all across the state of Oregon. We have the very latest on relief and recovery. Thanks for joining us. It is Thursday, September 17th. I'm Emily Burris. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Thousands of people across the state are without a home this morning. But in the true Oregon fashion, the community is stepping up to help them. And that includes efforts in Clackamas County. Melody Gonzalez joins us live from Estacada with more on how the community is helping there. Good morning, Melody. Good morning, Jen, Jenny and Emily. Yeah, the community is really coming together. We're here off of Highway 211 and Highway 224, where the Estacada Community Watch has set up a pickup and drop off donation center for evacuees that are returning to town. Now, I have one of the volunteers here who has been here all week, and you are Tracy Udi is here with us. Uh, talk to us about what you've noticed since being out here, maybe what people are, are needing as well. So since being out here, just watching the community come together as a whole has been uh, really amazing. I've been out here since 2012, and I couldn't think of a better community to be in. Um, as far as, like, um, I would say, like, Lou's Restaurant, they have been and stepped up above and beyond. Um, Marv is there. He's sleeping on his floor at night, making sure he can provide breakfast, hot meals. Um, not just to firefighters, uh, police officers, first responders, uh, community. So we're making sure everyone's fed, have hot meals. Um, I would say as far as like needs right now, um, clothes, we're still looking for clothes. We're looking for a lot of food items. Um, personal hygiene items are a really big thing. Uh, Pedialyte is one thing that I see a lot going out the door, and that's for the firefighters on the front line. Uh, so those are some of the things that I see in the immediate needs for us. Volunteers as well. Yeah, that's what I was hearing as well. And you're you're also providing resources for people who have been displaced in terms of helping them find a place to stay, correct? Um, as far as finding a place to stay, we have a GoFundMe account. And so what we're doing is we're collecting funds, we're prioritizing um, individuals, and then helping them get, if they need a place, making sure that we can get the resources to get them into a place. All right, and tell us kind of about this setup that you've got here. I know we're getting ready for um, some of those evacuees to make their way here and firefighters yes, who are looking yes. for food. So uh, tell us what you got here. Um, so I just a little, little bit of different things, some um, muffins and applesauce, some uh, protein bars, and we got some fruits, veggies. And then I have over on my hot cases, um, Luz has been working uh, diligently getting the burritos made this morning. So if you want to look in here, we have trays of breakfast burritos. Um, we'll make 200 breakfast burritos this morning. And so um, those are, like I said, for anybody in the community, if you stop by, we want to feed you. So please stop by. This afternoon uh, for lunch, we're going to serve Chick-fil-A. So that's going to be a hit, I think, uh, <laughs> at least I hear. And then we'll be serving dinner, too. And every meal that comes out of here is going to be hot and fresh. Right. So we encourage people to come down. And if people want to volunteer, where can they go or how, who can they contact for that? Uh, they can contact me personally, uh, but come down to the center. Uh, Joel heads this facility, and if they stop in, we will put you to work. If you can commit time, if you have an hour, if you have 10 hours, come down, help us out. We'll put you to work. Um, we we'll greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I know you said you've been putting in 20 hours probably a day. A day. You said. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I know that I've spoke with you and other volunteers here, and they all say that they're in here for the long haul as long as there is a need. So if you want to volunteer, we'll post a link to coin.com where you can do so. Jenny and Emily, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you in the studio for now. Reporting live from Estacada, Melody Gonzalez, Coin 6 News. Wow. That community response is just kind That's of overwhelming. It's, it's so great to see. Yeah.